I've been asked recently what on center means. As you can see behind me, this is a stud wall and it's 16 inches on center, which means each stud, if you were to measure between the two of them, they would be 16 inches. Um, you can end up with 24 inch on centers, 19 two on centers, 16 on centers, 12 on centers. It just depends on how much weight it's picking up. And uh, I'll show you a few pictures here. I'll flip the screen and show you kind of what a wall and what a floor looks like. And we'll even hop upstairs and I'll show you the trusses. Um, but at the end of the day, just make sure that you get the proper on centers depending on what it's holding up. Uh, you may have to go with 16 inches on center or 24 inches on center, depending on how much weight is on that wall. The same is true for floors. If floors are spanning really far, then you probably have to have your on centers closer. Instead of 19 inches on center or 19.2, it's probably 16 inches on center. Uh, so keep that in mind, but I'm gonna flip the screen here and I'll just give you a quick couple uh, video screenshots here of uh, stud walls and a floor, and then we'll hop upstairs and I'll show you the uh, the trusses. Okay, so here's interiors. So you can see these interior, these studs right here, 16 on center. And you can also see, you can look right up above and you can see that these floor joists, these are TGIs, um, that they're 16 on center as well because they're directly over the studs, which is optimal. If you can do that, that means you're carrying load directly down. That's, that is the optimal thing to do if you can pull it off, if your layout works. Same thing here. So here's an exterior wall and you can see that it is 16 inches on center. So like I said, it could be two, two feet, 16, just depends on how much load it's picking up. But let's hop upstairs and I'll show you trusses as well. Okay, so here I'm upstairs now, I'm in the same house and uh, you can see how we have all these trusses right here. These are engineered trusses, but even if they were rafters, typically, which a rafter is a, a two by material, like a two by 10, but usually they would end up being 24 inches on center. So it's important to think about your on centers in regards to structural components, uh, insulation, right? You don't, wanna, you don't wanna have 10 inch on centers and then 16 and be all over the place. You want them to be equal. So whatever it is that you come up with, just make sure you stick with it. Uh, make sure that your insulation will fit. Make sure you meet your structural loads for all your weight. You don't want a bouncy floor or you don't want bow and walls to bow on you or your rafters to bow on you. Uh, usually your inspector will make sure that you get it right, but you probably wanna do it right the first time. So just make sure you know what you gotta do before you get started on it. Uh, that's a long-winded video there on what on center is, but hopefully it helps you out, especially if you're getting ready to start on one of your projects. This is Ben with Building Code Tips. Hopefully this helps you out. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and uh, you can also check out buildingcodetips.com for any guides uh, as it relates to anything construction and code related. It's there for you, it's there for homeowners, um, it's there for DIYers who are out there just trying to do their own projects.